A burst of rain and clouds have provided a little relief over what's been a hot and dry summer, but it won't last very long. Starting this weekend, we are expecting higher than normal temperatures across British Columbia. Environment Canada says a heat wave could hit much of BC as early as Sunday. Heat warnings will still be very possible, especially for Vancouver Island, the south coast and southwestern interior. Those are locations that we're going to be watching closely for, uh, for a heat warning starting as early as uh, Sunday. Temperatures in Metro Vancouver could reach up to 30 degrees and it will likely be even hotter in the interior. The saving grace, longer nights means temperatures likely won't reach record highs. While these elevated temperatures may pose risks, I do want to assure everyone that this upcoming heat event is not expected to be as extreme as the event that we faced in June and July of 2021. That historic heat dome killed more than 600 people across the province. Conditions haven't been nearly as lethal this year. The BC Coroner's Service says it's investigating just three potential heat-related deaths recorded last month. The province's top doctor says there are deaths every year, which is why it's crucial to take precautions. It's important to be aware, to find a place in your home that's cool, to make sure that you do things to keep it cool during the day, like keeping the blinds closed and the windows closed during the day and then uh, allowing that cool air to come in at night, taking those personal measures. The high temperatures can be particularly taxing for those working outside, including thousands of wildfire crews across the province. Our staff are very used to working in very grueling and challenging conditions, but obviously when you start to see upper 30s and, and even, you know, we've seen temperatures into the 40s, it does have an impact as you're working uh, really hard on the slopes of BC trying to put out fires. So it's something we'll be monitoring closely. Another hurdle amid a challenging summer, but temperatures are expected to ease late next week. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.